Hi guys, how's it going? I'm Saba and today there will be League 1 team of the season coming in like one minute or so and we're gonna go ahead and open uh, team of the season reserve packs as it uh, goes loud just because I want to get them as fast as possible to sell them and then we are gonna take a look and review all of the League 1 uh, team of the season players. So if you are in, uh, interested about this, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel if you are new and hit the notification button to never ever miss any of my future uploads. 85% of you are not subscribed to my channel, so if you could go ahead and smash that subscribe button, that would be really really much appreciated. Thank you all for 1.6 thousand subscribers by the way, that's a great achievement and I'm really really thank thankful to all of you. But now, in like 10 seconds probably, there will be... League One team of the season coming, so in six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's back out. Let's get back in right now. It should be here. I'm gonna try to open uh, the packs as fast as possible. Gonna try to sell players, but first of all, let's get straight into team of the season re so far reserves section. Let's open three uh, League One team of the season players, so we can see. There are some decent players there. First of all, I'm gonna open these packs and I'm gonna review all of the reserves as well as all of the starters. And uh, there will be two players in in store as well, and I'm gonna uh, review the, uh, those as well. So there we go. First pack is opening. No, uh, from the first one we go. Oh, we go master. Let's go Kamara. There we go. That's great. We already got Kamara, so that's great. So let's open the second pack. He's probably gonna go for some decent amount of coins uh, because it's I got I got him quickly, so that's good. But the game is lagging. That's not great for me. So yeah, I mean it's opening at least. Uh, it is taking a long time, but it's opening. So let's go second pack. Let's see what we can get from the second pack. And so it's opening. Oh my God, we got two second master awesome man. Let's go. This this is the luckiest pack opening I had, I think. Or in La Liga team of the season, I got like ninth favorite rated crews, but I got two masters back to back. Wow, that's that's mad. That's insane. Wow, I didn't I didn't really expect that. Let's open the last pack, and let's see uh, what we can get. If we can get another master, that would be like insane. But let's see if we can do it. So. Uh, it's opening still slowly, but it's opening at least so let's do it. Let's open it. We got okay We got a lead. We got Atal this time right midfielder not the best pay, uh, Guy, but let's go ahead and check them in the market right now. So guys camera is not in the market I believe let's see what this suggested price is gonna be uh, I'm hoping a lot so let's go league No, not Syria league one uh, Let's see Aussie man there is no suggested price. Oh, there is some suggested price. Gonna try to sell him for like that amount. Let's see if he sells. Then Kamara. I hope they sell. If they sell, that will be great for me. That will be a lot of coins made just from this pack opening, and that that will be insane. Uh, let's see Kamara suggested price. It's gonna be around like 10 mil. Okay, gonna try to sell him for like 5 mil, for 4.9 mil. Hope he will sell. Uh, instantly, if he doesn't sell like uh, the, uh, from the first in the first uh, five minutes, he's never gonna sell at all as well. Maybe I can get like uh, 500k from him, 450k. Let's try to sell him for 450k. He's gonna be like under 100k uh, in like one hour, so it's good to sell him for 450k. So that definitely was a great, great pack opening, not gonna lie. Uh, oh, there is. There are two cameras. One guy already, already sold him for twenty five mil. Second one sold. The uh, second guy sold him for eighteen mil. That's that's a lot of profit. But hopefully, mine does sell for like five mil. I put them at. But first of all, let's check out these player stats. Uh, Atal, eighty six rated. So he's a right mid, and he, to be honest, uh, for an eighty six rated card, he does look pretty decent. But Nothing special, like he's not a end game card, he's not really good to be honest. He does have red traits as well as flip flop skill move, but yeah, don't think he will be good. Uh, 90 shot power only, and 18 uh, 7 long shot, 78 curve. No, I, w I wouldn't choose him. Uh, an 86 rated Adama Traore 
or is he 87? I think he might be 87. Is much much better than Kamara as a left back reaction skill boost. Definitely not interested already. Yeah, he's there are some uh, better uh, skill boost or better players for left back. Then we have Osimhen, and he looks interesting at least. Like he shoot, he has a shooting skill boost that's not ideal. But there are some players, some other players with shooting skill boost, and it's not terrible. But his stats. His pace is lacking a little bit, like 106 pace, 101 acceleration is not good, and he's not even getting boost from his skill boost, so I wouldn't choose him as well. He does have great shooting stats, as well as uh, one, only one trait though, a speed dribbler. Yeah, I, I wouldn't choose this card as well. I would be extremely happy if they sell, but if they don't, I can't do anything about that, so let's go into team of the season now. There we go, we are finally here. 87 rated Andre. As a CDM, interception skill boost is not terrible, but it's not definitely, it's like, uh, Destroyer is 100% better, and, and I think all of all of the FIFA Mobile players pretty much are using uh, Destroyer, so I don't think this guy will, uh, anyone will take this guy over some other players with Destroyer skill boost. He does not look bad, though his defending stats is uh, pretty decent. Uh, his pace is not good really 84 pace is pretty bad and even though he's defending and physical 4 and 87 is pretty decent it's, he's not a good card lala as a right back uh, 4 and 88 rated player though he's a pretty good card i haven't even upgraded his uh, skill boost so he will probably have no uh, over 100 pace uh he's not bad one 105 marking 107 sliding tackle 109 interceptions 103 standing tackle as an 88 rated card he might be a decent player to get but probably uh, there will be like uh, higher rated right back that you can choose instead of him just because it will take you loads of coins to un upgrade him our definitely not interested he's pretty bad for a left mid yeah not interested in that mandanda goalkeeper uh, I mean, every goalkeeper is pretty much same right now, and I think I still think Donnarumma is the best goalkeeper in this game. But this Mandanda, don't really think anyone is interested in him. Then Payet as left wing, I don't, I don't think he's good. He's not real that good, is he? No, he's not good at all. All of these reserve players are not good. He does have four traits, but not really fantastic anything fantastic about him then we have marquinhos as a marking skill boost so marking skill boost some people not a lot of people but uh, some people are using marking skill boost he i mean it is the second best skill boost for a center back i think like holding is the best one for me slimani as a center forward i don't think anyone is interested in so here we are let's now check out league one team of the season so first one we have is guy Oh my lord, what a card that is. Destroyer skill boost, the best one for a CDM. 99 pace, 102 agility, 93 passing, 120 defending and 112 physical. He looks like to be one of the best CDMs in the game that you can get for free, for yeah, free to play. 127 marking, 132 standing tackle, 111 sliding tackle, 134 interceptions. This card really looks very, very good. I think he's like six foot two as well. He's not small. He's pretty tall. He, of course, this game took out uh, heights uh, from players, but this card looks very very nice. I would one hundred percent recommend you getting him if you need a CDM. Then we have goalkeeper Rajkovic, number one skill boost. Nah, not bad, not bad. Pretty decent goalkeeper, but there are so many goalkeepers that you don't. So many good goalkeepers that you don't really need him. I don't think anyone is gonna choose him. Some people might, but there are so many good goalkeepers like Donnarumma, Courtois, uh, even uh, smaller goalkeepers like Alisson. All of these are great goalkeepers. So then we have Savanier that I, even though he has a very very good card, like well balanced card, his skill boost I don't like, and overall I don't think he will be in or in like most of the players' teams because he. Even though he does look decent for a center mid, his skill boost put put me off uh, right away. And stats, I mean, it is not that great as well. There are some better uh, center mids for sure. Then we have 94 rated Gabriel, stopper skill boost. 
If he had holding skill boost, that would have been insanely good card. But I guess he al already has like 98 rated card with a holding skill boost, so that's alright, I guess. So I don't really recommend him. If you want to get him, get his 98 rated card. It is much, much better. Then we have 96 Renato Sanchez. And this card looks great. Let me tell you that. I don't even have a uh, captain upgraded. I have it at level 0. And he still has insanely insanely good stats uh what you can say if you can if you upgrade if i had captain upgraded as well he will have a lot a lot better stats and yeah this if you need a good center mid with a captain skill boost i think that's the one that you have to go for that's a great great card then the next one we have is center back uh abdel hamid Sorry for if I pronounce that wrong, but uh, physical skill boost, pretty bad skill boost for a center back. For any position, really, he's not good. 89 pace, probably it's gonna go up with skill boost. I don't, I'm not 100% sure, but don't really recommend it. his card. 97 rated, not really the best card. Then we have 98 rated Thiago Silva, and this card looks very, very good. 97 pace, 127 defending, 115 physical, and Overall, great stats for uh, center back. 133 marking, 136 sliding tackle, 137 interceptions, 106 sliding tackle. What's his heading? Where is the heading stat? Uh, 111 heading. And does he have a power header? Yes, he does have a power header. I would recommend getting him if you need a uh, good center back, League One center back specifically. I would 100% recommend getting him. He's a very, very good card. Then we have Ben Yedder. Wow, that that card is insane. Second stri striker skill boost. I feel like this is already one of the best strikers in the game. 123 pace, 124 shooting, 126 agility, 96 passing as well. His pace is already great. Finishing 128 is great. 138 short power, 111 long shot. Not the greatest long shot, but he's a striker. He's not going to take that many long shots for you. Then we have 140 dribbling, 138 ball control. Yeah, just what a card that is. 123 reactions as well. What a card that is. This is already one of the best play strikers in the game. I feel like in a special trade for, uh, flair and outside foot shots as well. Two very, very good uh, special trades. Yeah, I would recommend getting Kim 100% if you need a great striker. He's one of the best ones in the game. I feel like at least at this time no, already so then we have 100 rated Di Maria he has 5 star weak foot that's interesting because he's not great with his right foot but I'm not mad at, mad at that because this makes his card a lot a lot better and this is a great card as well wow this card is great 132 pace 123 shooting 113 passing 123 agility yeah that's an insane card I mean, that's even better than Ben Yedder, isn't he? Yeah, he's better than Ben Yedder. Definitely, he's better than Ben Yedder. Oh, not him. Okay, so, very, very good card. 136 sh finishing, 133 shot power, 110 long shot, 114 positioning, 140 dribbling, 125 ball control. What traits? Flare, long shot taker, and outside foot shot. That's a great, great card right there. Right wing. Probably one of the best right wings in the game again, as I said, these players are insanely good, and probably the you know, one hundred and one and one hundred and two rated players are gonna be Neymar and Mbappe, who is one hundred and one okay, Mbappe is one hundred and one rated. Oh no, why does he have an acceleration skill boost? Come on, yeah, you could have given him given him second striker that would have been insanely good, but they choose to give him uh acceleration. I mean, his pace is, of course, great. He's Mbappe, so he, it should be. But I kind of... I don't really like him. I mean, he's a great player. Of course, he has insane stats. But skill boost puts me off. And because uh, if you are actually using acceleration skill boost in your team, I guess he's the player that you need to have because he's the best player with acceleration skill boost. But I feel like second striker skill boost is a lot, a lot better. No, and you should just use that. And last but not least, we have 102 rated Neymar. And again, shot power, skill boost, come on. 
you could have given him like attacking or uh, long shots I mean pretty much everyone has uh, Sancho at left mid so I don't think a lot of people are gonna go for Neymar his stats are not bad but for a 102 rated card I feel like it should be better and Neymar should have better skill boost than that probably or maybe they are saving it for ultimate team of the season to give them the best skill boost possible but still uh, five, four trades for him selfish flared speed dribbler and outside foot shot five star weak foot very good stats but I was expecting better with Neymar I'm not even gonna lie but these are all the league one players now let's get into the store because there will be two more players I, f I believe from chain packs that you can't get free to play unfortunately but still you can get them from the market so we have 98 rated the pie cam okay look okay that's a very very good card 98 rated the pie uh, long shot skill boost one of the best in the game uh, he has good pace 115 finishing is not the best but it's definitely not terrible as well 133 shot power is great 129 long shots is great the 111 volley, the volley is not really important in this game. 121 dribbling, 137 ball control. He really looks good. He really, really does look good. He has flair, long shot taker, playmaker, outside two shot. Four trades for him as well. Very, very good card for him. And last but not least, uh, from store packs, we have 98 rated uh, Verati. I forgot his first name. Mar I, I forgot, I'm sorry but what a card this looks this is insane 100 plus stats in every single stat wow 101 rated no, variety i don't think you can see you can like have any i don't really think you can uh, have anyone better at center mid than him he's like definition of no versatile player he's he's like insane stats in every single area yeah look at that he's just insane he can do everything he can shoot he can defend he he's physically good even though he's like five foot five he took out heights in this game from this game so it's not really that important but yeah this card is just insanely insanely good but this is it from uh league one team of the season let me know down in the comment section what you feel uh, like about it, what you think, uh, who you are gonna go for, and all those sort of stuff. Right now, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel if you are new, and hit the bell button to never ever miss any of my uploads. Take care, goodbye, and peace.